If you've had problems launching the Microsoft OneDrive client from inside a remote app session, well, if you have, I've got some good news for you. Microsoft recently released a new capability to actually launch the OneDrive client when you launch your remote app session. Okay, so today we're going to go through and show you how that's configured, and then we're going to show you the functionality and how it all works in the background as well. And for those of you who are quite new to the channel, welcome. My name is Neil McLaughlin, aka The Virtual Mac. On this channel, we'll review the latest news about Azure Virtual Desktop, Windows 365, Intune, Entro ID, and much, much more. So historically, when customers have launched remote app session from inside Azure Virtual Desktop, you can see the OneDrive, but you don't have access to the client. So if there's any sync issues or anything needs tuning or changing, um, you can't really tell if there's a problem or not or whether you need to sign in or anything. So um, recently, Microsoft released an update um, and these new settings actually allow us to show the, the OneDrive client um, and the sync center um, when we launch the remote app session. Okay, so in today's video, we're basically going to go through the configuration settings. We're going to show you how all that's um, configured. Then we're going to go and test it um, and we'll show you what this new capability looks like. Okay, so looking forward to this video. Let's get cracking. So let's look at the, the prereqs that you need for this. Okay, so um, first of all, you need to be running the latest version of Windows 11 23 H2, right, with all the updates installed. Um, you also need to have the latest version of FL Logistics installed, um, which at the time of this recording um, is update 4. Um, and there are a few things which we need to configure. So we'll, we'll be looking at actually how you do these um, a bit later. So first of all, you need to have OneDrive um, installed on the actual session host um, in per machine mode. So that's done by default. So if you're using the, the latest Microsoft um, Marketplace image uh, for 23H2 with Office installed, um, that'll come with the latest OneDrive client sync on there, okay? Um, second thing, you need to make sure we have silently configured user accounts um, configured. So again, that's already set by default as well if you're using the Marketplace image. Um, we just need to make sure that all the, the security updates are stored as well. So these are the settings that you need to configure, okay? Um, so obviously within an Active Directory environment, you need to make sure you have the latest um, sort of ADML files. Um, if you're just configuring this locally on the session host, um, you just need to configure this setting. Um, if you wanted to configure this in an Intune environment, the Intune settings aren't there yet, um, but there are register settings that you can configure um, to enable this setting. Um, we also need to configure this setting as well. So um, this basic setting enables the, the OneDrive client to launch um, alongside the remote app. Uh, and next thing is just to make sure the uh, the stack on the session host matched up to that minimum version. Um, so again, if you're using the latest 23H2 image and you've installed all the updates, um, you should be good to go there as well. Um, and that's pretty much all you need to do. Okay, so it's not actually that much to configure. Um, it's essentially just two settings as long as you're fully up to date. Um, so and we'll go through and implement this now um, and then we'll test it and show you what this actually looks like. Okay. So to enable the new functionality, there's a couple of things that we need to do. So first of all, you need to make sure you're on Windows 23 um, HC, uh, multi-session. Um, second thing that you need to do, you need to make sure that the um, this policy setting is enabled. So the enable enhanced shell experience for remote app. Okay, so we're just gonna go click on this and then we just set that to enabled. Okay, so click the apply button. Okay, and then the next thing is we need to enable a another register key. So it's this key here, um, and that will basically enable the OneDrive client um, to start up um, with the remote app. Okay, so I'm just going to run this. Okay, so that should have uh, created. So let's just double check that. So if I go to um, cool, yep. So you can see that's now selected. So that means that um, once the uh, a user signs into remote app session. Um, the, the Microsoft OneDrive client um, will sync up or open up um, in the background. Okay, so let's go and try and test this. So I've set the policy settings. I've set this. So I'm just going to log off from this session host and then we will launch session and see what happens. So we're going to use the Windows app to launch. So I'm going to launch Microsoft Word. Okay, so the remote app's launched. Um, so first of all, let's just see, make sure we can see OneDrive. So if I go to file, save as, I can see my OneDrive. So that's what we could see previously. 
Um, but the difference is the new setting is if we go down to um, here, the, I can see this little OneDrive icon down here. Okay, so this is what we couldn't do previously. All we could do was like save as and stuff. So let, let's just test this and prove this. So testing OneDrive. So I'm just going to go to file, save as. I'm going to test the testing new functionality. Okay. I'm just going to save that as a document in my OneDrive folder. Okay. So got it. Um, and then if I just now go up into my client, you can see there, I can now see that client. So that's a new um, kind of GUI that's been unleashed. Um, and then we can also go and look at settings as well. Um, so this is the username that I'm using to test this account with. And then we can just go and configure um, different stuff within there as well. So um, that's quite cool. So yeah, this is the, the new functionality. Um, a lot of people uh, have been asking for this. Um, so very, very good that Microsoft has now got it into kind of general availability. Um, so yeah, that's it for me. A quick one today. Um, something which looks very, very simple, um, but is actually um, extremely useful. Um, especially if there's issues with OneDrive that you want to troubleshoot um, inside a, a remote app session. Thank you.